of December 14th, 2020 of the Dubuque Community School District Board of Education is called to order. Our mission is to develop world-class learners and citizens of character in a safe and inclusive learning community. Roll call, please. Bradley? Here. Donahue? Here. Parks? Here. Prohaska? Here. Ryan? Here. Sancy? Here. Whitman? Here. And we'll have the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag, the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Miss the kids doing that. I know. I move the Board of Education approve the agenda as submitted. Second. It has been moved and seconded to approve the agenda as submitted. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. I move the Board of Education approve the minutes of the regular meeting on November 9th, 2020 as submitted. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve the minutes of the regular meeting on November 9th, 2020 as submitted. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. I move that the Board of Education receive and file proof of publication and notice of public hearing on the proposed 2021-22 and 22-23 school calendars and authorized payment of the legal notice publication cost to the Telegraph Herald. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education receive and file proof of publication of notice of public hearing on the proposed 2021-2022 and the 2022-23 school calendars and authorized payment of legal notice publication costs to the Telegraph Herald. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. Any persons wishing to make comment on the school calendar can do so at this time. Seeing no one uh, in person, if there's anyone on the Zoom call who wishes to make comment on the calendar, uh, this is just for the calendar portion, if you could use the raise hand feature in Zoom so we can enable you to make your remarks. Mm -hmm. Again, if there's anyone on the Zoom call that would like to make a comment on the calendar, if you could use the raise hand feature in Zoom. Seeing none. Seeing none, I, I move that Board of Education approve the 2021-2022 and the 2022-2023 school calendars as presented. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve the 2021 and 2022, 2022 and 23 school calendars as presented. Is there any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. Thank you very much. And now we'll go on to board salutes. And I believe my colleagues here in the room have a few. We'll start with Mr. Donahue. Hey, uh, board salute goes out to Ray Sidlowski, who you may have seen featured in today's Telegraph Herald. Uh, Ray uh, identified a need for students to have a designated workspace at home. He went to work constructing desks that could be provided to students in need of them. He worked with the Foundation for Dubuque Public Schools to connect with the district to get the workstations distributed. Ray is a community member who saw a need and contributed great talent, effort, and resources to impact the lives of students. So we're extremely thankful for Ray and so many community members like him who have gone above and beyond to help serve our students. Great, thank you. Ms. Whitman. And I have a board salute. Um, kudos to the district's technology team, as well as the technology coaches and building staff who have worked diligently to prepare and distribute laptops to our students in grades two through five. While the district was impacted by the national 
device shortage, our team was ready to act the moment the devices arrived in the district and immediately went to work to distribute them. A board salute also goes to those teams working so hard to ensure these devices got to their final and most important destination in the hands of our young students. Great, thank you. And Ms. Rojaska. Yes, I have a board salute out to our Hempstead High School and Dubuque Senior High School students selected as all state musicians by the Iowa High School Music Association. The district had nine students selected for all state orchestra, five students selected for all state band, and seven students selected for all state choir. These students represent the top 1.7% of all Iowa high school musicians. Congratulations to each of these students on their achievements which represents much dedication and hard work. And it kind of illustrates that our arts are alive in our schools. And we should probably sh give a little shout out to the uh, directors uh, of the orchestra, band, and choir for their efforts as well. Yes, great, thank you. And on a somber note, we have learned that former school board member Steve Hodge has passed away over the weekend. Steve was a strong supporter of our students and of public education. He served on the board from 1999 to 2005 and was board president during that time from 2001 to 2003. We are thankful for the time Steve served on the board and we offer our deepest condol condolences to his family and friends. Okay, we will now move on to visitors and open forum. A motion, please. I move the Board of Education to suspend the rules of order and go into open forum. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education suspend the rules of order and go into open forum. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. And any persons wishing to address the board can do so at this time. Please state your name and address, and please limit your remarks to three minutes. And also note that um, unless it is already on the agenda, it is not something that we will be commenting on. So I do believe we have one person here in person, so and, go ahead. And one other thing, make sure your thing, does it say it's on the top? So we slid away from mute. Yeah, it is. Okay, great, Thank sorry. You. Just wanted to be able to hear on the, at home. <laughs> Hi, my name is Allison County at 155 Fremont Avenue in Dubuque. I am here tonight representing the Educational Justice Group. It is our mission to ensure an equitable, just, and integrated education for students that are black, indigenous, and youth of color in our community. Students of color being disciplined, suspended, expelled, and arrested at disproportionately high rates relative to their white classmates is a national crisis a crisis that directly contributes to the devastating school to prison pipeline. While students of color make up less than a quarter of the population of Dubuque schools, they make up over half of the suspensions, expulsions, and arrests. We know that you are aware of this proportionality is unacceptable and based on discriminatory and unjust policies and practices. We are calling on you as the leaders of the schools to make meaningful changes to policies and practices to right these wrongs and to ensure all students succeed. The district needs to be more transparent in reporting data on, on suspensions, expulsions, and arrests. The numbers we reviewed and made public on a monthly, should be, should be reviewed and made public on a monthly basis. This data should be broken down by race and socioeconomic status. The data we referenced about the alarming disproportionality between students of color and their white peers being disciplined was from 2019. Historical as well as current data was unavailable to us, highlighting a frightening lack of transparency. The district must create protocols that are free of language and behaviors that target students of color. This will include culturally responsive consequences for students in replacement of suspensions and expulsions, and the discontinuation of calling the police to address student behaviors that can be resolved with school staff. In a recent Telegraph Herald article, it was stated that it was, quote, uncommon for SROs to arrest students, unquote. Yet in 2019, 130 students were arrested. 130 students arrested does not define an uncommon practice, and it is not okay. Utilize funding currently allocated for school resource officers to hire more counselors, 
social workers, and mental health professionals. The goal should be a counselor for every 250 children, as recommended by the American School Counselors Association. Iowa, with a counselor to student ratio of 417 to one on average, has one of the worst student to counselor rates in the country. And this is unacceptable. All Dubuque Community School District teachers and staff need to participate in rigorous, timely, and ongoing professional development to learn to recognize and counteract implicit bias and begin to challenge systematic, systematic inequities that are perpetuated in our schools. Cultural, racial, and linguistic differences should not be equated to misbehavior, defiance, and disrespect. This is a current practice that results in students of color being disciplined, suspended, expelled, and arrested at unacceptable rates. We recently attended the Equity Committee's first meeting and we are hopeful about their direction. The Educational Justice Group will continue to advocate for just and fair practices and policies. We look forward to working with you all and the Equity Committee to help make the Dubuque Community School District better for all individuals. Thank you. Thank you very much. And do we have any online? At this time, if there's anyone on the Zoom call who wishes to address the board, if you could use the raise hand feature so that we're able to enable you to give your remarks. Again, if there's anyone on the Zoom call who wishes to address the board, if you would use the raise hand feature so that we can give you the permission to be able to speak and share your remarks. Seeing none. Okay. Yep, seeing none. I move I'm, that the Board of Education reinstate the rules of order and return to regular session. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education reinstate the rules of order and return to regular session. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. I move the Board of Education. Move the, go ahead, Lisa. Oh. I move the Board of Education approve those items listed in the consent, consent agenda. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve those items listed in the consent agenda. Are there any items that wish to be pulled? Yeah, if you would pull the personnel report, please. All right. We will pull the personnel report. Uh, All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. And the personnel report, we have an addendum that came in after the packet was sent out. Yeah. And you so, want to go ahead Yeah, and I'll address that. Address so that. as we usually do when we have a, a director or so at that level uh, leave, we address that briefly. So we did unfortunately receive um, notification from Taj our equity director that he is leaving to take a position, similar position in Iowa City. Uh, he sent a note to district leadership, I believe to you, all of you as well. So, you know, he leaves uh, having started a lot of great things in the district and, and has moved us along that continuum and will be a better district for the work that Taj um, uh, has started. So I won't go through the, the entire letter uh, because I think everybody has a copy, but part of what he references is the large Sudanese Northeast African community in the Iowa City area. Many of you know Taj's family uh, has not been allowed to come to the United States for the past several years. And so uh, I think he is hopeful that that will be remedied in the near future. And he's looking for a landing spot for his wife and his young daughter that uh, culturally has some connections to, to home as they make the, the transition from uh, life in Lebanon to life in the United States. And Iowa City offers that opportunity with the university there to, to have uh, a, a significant population um, from the Sudan, uh, Northeast Africa, Sudanese area. So it, it makes sense for him, but uh, it is uh, uh, um, tough uh, for us, but we will begin the process shortly of finding his replacement. So good work has started, so that will help bring us a good field of qualified applicants, I'm sure. Great, thank you, Stan. So I need a motion on the personnel report. So moved. It, and a second? I'll second that. 
It has been moved and seconded to approve the personnel report as presented. Is there any discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. And that takes us to our facilities and support services. Mr. Donahue. Yep, the committee met last week. Um, we've got about four things that need some uh, action on them. Uh, the first is I move the Board of Education receive and approve the June 30th, 2020 Comprehensive Annual Financial Report. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education receive and approve the June 30th, 2020 Comprehensive Annual Financial Report. Is there any discussion? I could say a few words about that. Board members, please. <laughs> Just try to keep it brief. We hope you would. <laughs> you should have practiced so that excited. earlier. Did you get the look? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got the look, Mike. Okay. Um, port is broken down into four sections: um, introductory section, a financial section, statistical, and a compliance section. And our auditors do review and uh, give us opinions on both the financial and the compliance sections. They also take a look at the introductory and statistical, but don't uh, give us opinions on those, but they want to make sure they align with what's showing up in the rest of the document. So for the, the citizens of the community, I think there's some important pieces that they should look at when they take a look at this lengthy document. And to try to help them simplify it, I would start by looking at the introductory section, which is pages 4 through 16 of the document. It uh, kind of explains what the CAFR document is, what's included in it. It provides some basic specific information to our district. Um, the next section I would have them look at is the financial section. And I would include both the independent auditor's report on the financial statements. And for this year, we received an unmodified or clean opinion, which is the best opinion that uh, the auditors can issue. And what that means is our financial statements are fairly presented and represent the current financial condition of our district. Also included in that section is a section called the Management Discussion and Analysis, and that's pages 21 through 35. And in that section, it provides a written story of kind of what the financial statements amounts mean. It includes highlights from the past year for 2020. It includes some individual fund analysis, and it also includes some uh, economic factors that are bearing on the district for the current year as well as potential future years. And that's where you'll find some language about COVID-19 and how it affected the district last year as well as how we think it will affect it going forward. Um, also, I would say the next section is the statistical section. And that's kind of tables uh, of, of tenure history of certain facts and uh, figures for the district. And finally is the compliance section. And there's uh, three different pieces that we'll talk about. One is the auditor's report and internal control. They offer opinion on what they find. And for the district this year, there was no findings that they had to report on. Same, there's another letter right after that, the auditor's report on compliance for major federal programs, and again, there was no findings on that. And then the last piece of that section that they should take a look at is the schedule of findings and question costs. And that's where they would list any concerns that they had or findings that they had. And they did have two findings this year that I want to talk about a little bit is two statutory comments that they're required to report on. Um, both had to do with our enrollment. One was on the certified enrollment. So what that means is what we reported to the state didn't match exactly what reported at the end of the year. Um, the good news part of that is that it was no financial effect because the net of the, the two findings that they had was zero FTEs. So it meant no dollar changes. And then the second piece was a comment on our supplementary weighting. And again, these are statutory requirements that are required to be. And that was on a 0 .036 FTE, so very, very immaterial to the total of financial statements. Um, so those were the basic summary of that document. And I would like to take this time to publicly thank Rick Till and Joan Steffen in the business department for all of their hard work on this document. Does anyone have any questions on that? 
No questions, but just a comment. I mean, uh, Kevin's always quick to give credit to his team uh, uh, relative to the quality of the financial reporting in our district. And I would just say we're, I've always said we've got the best superintendent in the state. I think we got the best uh, director of finance as well because we are, uh, um, that stuff does, doesn't just happen. And I yep. hope people who are listening or happen to chance, have a chance to take in this, the recording of this, recognize that um, our our district, while not without financial challenges like many others, is really uniquely positioned, I think, in many ways within the state of Iowa. And I think Kevin has, uh, he keeps us out of trouble and yep. and uh, keeps us pointed in the right direction. So Kevin, thank you for that. Thank you, Mike. Absolutely. I would just concur briefly that Kevin, there isn't a better CFO <clears throat> in a school district in the country. That's why he's been president of IASBO and many other organizations. I don't always love the answers that he gives me, <laughs> but I know that they're 100% accurate right. and transparent. Yep. And uh, sometimes he has to talk me into making good decisions. <laughs> Thank you, Stan. And He's again, always the mayor of good or bad news. <laughs> yep. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it takes a great team. It's yep. not an individual effort. And with the staff that we have and all the administrators, it, it's a great effort that they put forward. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. All right. Uh, second action item. I uh, move that the Board of Education adopt the following resolution. Mm -hmm. Resolve that the Board of Education of the Dubuque Community School District approve Hewlett Packard as a sole source provider for the purchase of client computer equipment and peripherals to be reviewed on an annual basis. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education adopt the following resolution. Resolved that the Board of Education of the Dubuque Community School District approve Hewlett Packard as the sole source provider for the purchase of client computer equipment and peripherals to be reviewed on an annual basis. Is there any discussion? I would just point out, Colby's on and he can certainly add to it, but um, this is a relationship that we've had for some time uh, with the caveat that we look at it once a year to make sure that we're getting the, the uh, economic benefit of, in a sense, putting all of our eggs in one basket, but this basket has served us very well. The, the information that was shared uh, at the committee level uh, put it in um, tens of thousands of dollars, if I may be underestimating it, in terms of what it would have been if we had even gone to the best, um, the best case provider alternative out there for these, for these purchases. So. Kobe does a great job of uh, keeping an eye and keeping them uh, honest, but they have also um, earned our, our trust as well over the course of the years in terms of our fulfillment of client computer equipment and peripherals. I would agree. All those in favor? Or, Kobe, do you need to add anything? To Would you like to add anything? No, I think uh, uh, Mike said it best. Um, we're very fortunate with the relationship we've had. We've had a relationship for... Uh, some time now. Um, it's worked well for our organization, and I think it's uh, ultimately best for uh, the district and the taxpayers as, as a whole. Great. Thank you. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Mm -hmm. That motion carries. Uh, our third motion, I move that the Board of Education approve change order number three to Conlon Construction Company on the Alta Vista Vocational Technology Classroom Addition Project in the decreased amount of $32,642.47. Second. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve change order number three to Conlin Construction Company on the Alta Vista Vocational Technology Classroom Addition Project in the decreased amount of $32,642.47. Is there any discussion? I'd just like to mention that there was a very nice article in the Telegraph Herald about that uh, facility, and I'm pretty sure that we're about occupancy is to start pretty right soon. after the bill, I guess, right after the, first, the holiday break, right? That's going to be great. fantastic. Yep, we'll do a tour you. when we're from board members. Maybe it's for services. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Yeah, yeah, it's very nice. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Did my online people hear me? Can you guys hear me? Online, Kate? Uh, Kate, Nancy, or Anderson, can yeah, you hear me? Are you guys me? on? Uh-oh. Their mouths aren't moving. 
Well, we did get four. <laughs> we still got We do have four. We have a call. She's got a note here. She has a message. She can't hear anything. Yeah, I, we must have lost the audio. Does anybody know sign language? <laughs> I do, but uh, Let's see I'm it. far away. Yeah, it's alphabet very little. <laughs> If you know sign language, the, less, the rest of us aren't going to know it <laughs> either. I know to respond. Yeah, good point. I guess that's a two-way street. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, I do have four members that did approve this. Yep. Do we want to keep yeah. going well, <laughs> for this one with this one vote? I mean, really, we could. It's going to be third second. Okay. If, it, if all we, works well, we'll wait. <laughs> yeah, we'll wait. So you may have learned sign language, but did you learn the facial expressions? Yep. You ever watch people that sign? Well, <laughs> yeah, oh that's amazing. They're they're entertaining. <laughs> they are. I hope so. Can you hear us now, guys and gals? Can now you hear can hear us, us. You can hear us? Yeah. I saw Katie. Did we lose and Anderson? Nancy. Where's Anderson? He's there somewhere. I can hear now. There he is. There okay. he is. So we do Signing have a motion and a second, and I called for the vote on the... Uh, Change order. Change order. On the change order. Did you hear at, me at up till that point? Okay, so we have a motion and a second. I'll call for the vote again. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion does carry. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, the last item we have before us. Um, uh, I move that the Board of Education approve the agreement with IIWPC for the Hempstead High School Intercom Replacement Project in the amount of $42,600. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve the agreement with IIWPC for the Hempstead High School Intercom Replacement Project in the amount of $42,600. Is there any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any, aye. any opposed? That motion carries. All right. Thank you, Mr. Donahue. Mm -hmm. That takes us now to educational programs and policy. Ms. Whitman. Okay. We had our meeting December 8th, 2020. Um, I'll highlight some of the areas that we discussed. Um, Julie Lang presented the mastery content um, pre-K through 12th grade initiative that integrates into Canvas for grades 6 through 12. Currently, teachers hand score the tests and hand enter the results into Infinite Campus. So this initiative will be entirely automated and a pilot, if approved, a pilot should begin this spring. Um, advanced placement testing, Kristen George presented a comparative um, test data between 2019, 2020, 2020, and 2021 on the numbers of students taking the AP tests. Currently, 960 AP test exams are scheduled to be taken. Um, and at Senior, I just wanted to highlight the, what they're focusing on is an academic, they have an academic task force that focuses on eliminating barriers to help students be successful at the next level. And at Hempstead High School, the content area teachers are building community with students to encourage AP testing courses. Um, we, Stan highlighted the calendar, which we talked about earlier for the 2021 and 2022, 2022, 2023, which basically mirrored the last two years that we had. Um, I do have a motion that I move the Board of Education approve the annual physical education exemption request. Um, Amy Hawkins spoke Wait, on that. Are you going to have your motion or are you yeah. going to give the report on it? Oh, I'll motion. give the report on I'm sorry. You I'll give the report it. on Wait. Wait. first. Wait. Under discussion. Yeah. You've given the, the motion. Can I yeah. have a second? I'll second that. Okay. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve the annual physical education exemption request. Is there any discussion? Now you can Okay, I'm sorry. That's okay. I usually don't get motions in I my know. area. There you go. <laughs> 
Okay, Amy Hawkins um, discussed this with us for um, this year only. We are going to move that due date for those <laughs> teachers, counselors, nurses wait, requesting. Hey, wait. wait a second. You want to discuss the physical the, education? The, the discussion is on the yeah, physical, physical education. If you don't have anything to add, that's okay. I'll call yeah. a vote. Yeah. No, I'm I'm sorry. That's yeah. okay. No, I do. I just have okay. something little to add. It offers physical education courses that meet five days for a week, per week for a semester. And um, we've been doing this for many years, and we feel that we get better fitness um, to our students by meeting five days a week. Okay. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Next motion. That motion carries. Next motion. Lisa. Make the next motion. Now next the motion. next motion, I move the Board of Education approve the teacher, counselor, nurse retirement application deadline from January 15th, 2021 to February 15th, 2021 for this year only. Second. It has been moved. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve the teacher, counselor, nurse retirement application deadline from January 15th, 2021 to February 15th, 2021 for this year only. Is there any discussion? The, the main reason for this is to give us an extra month um, so people can make an informed decision uh, as it relates to COVID if that is a decision that they're going to make. Gives them another month. Okay. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. Thank you. Is that all? That's all. We all right. went through six other policies to, for review. All right. Thank you. New business. And now that takes us on to new business, and we have um, some motions for this. So. Okay. I move that the Board of Education establish the regular meeting of the Board of Education for the second Monday of each month at 5.30 p.m. In the, at the forum and the strategic plan meetings the fourth Monday in October, February, May, and May at 5.30 p.m. at the Forum. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education establish the regular meeting of the Board of Education for the second Monday of each month at 5.30 p.m. at the Forum and strategic plan meetings the fourth Monday in October, February, and May at 5.30 p.m. at the Forum. Is there any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. I move that the Board of Education and the Telegraph Herald is the official publication of record. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education name the Telegraph Herald as the official publication of record. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. I move that the Board of Education name Firsty, Carew, Jurgens, and Sudmeyer, PC, as the official legal counsel of record. Second. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education name Firsty, Carew, Jurgens, and Sudmeyer, PC, as the official legal counsel of record. Is there any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. I move that the Board of Education approve the following banks as depositories for district funds not to exceed $50 million each. Collins Community Credit Union, Dubuque Bank and Trust, Dupaco Community Credit Union, Dutrack Community Credit Union, Fidelity Bank and Trust, ISJIT, Midwest Bank, Midwest One Bank, Premier Bank, U.S. Bank, and UMB Bank. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve the following banks as depositories for bank for district funds not to exceed $50 million each. Collins Community Credit Union, Dubuque Bank and Trust, Dupaco Community Credit Union, Dutrack Community Credit Union, Fidelity Bank and Trust, ISJIT, Midwest One Bank, Premier Bank, U.S. Bank, and UMB Bank. Is there any discussion? Maybe Kevin or somebody. What is the ISJIT? Ice jet. 
IceJet is an organization that was put together to help school districts. So we will often send them bid proposals for investment dollars that we have, and then they you know, submit their responses back. But they're an investment uh, agency put together to help schools. Thank you. What's, who's UMB, UMB Bank? <laughs> yeah. UMB Bank is the bank we frequently use when we use, uh, we'll sell our sales tax bonds. They're the, the kind of the paying agent for uh, when we make payments to the, the bond holders. Um, they, they, they're the, really the bond trustee right. that we use for our sales tax bonds. It's formerly Bankers Trust. Trust, right. yes. Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha. thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> like, how come we've never used or named them before? But that makes sense. All right. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. I move that the Board of Education approve the 2020-2021 Board Committees as submitted. Second. It has Aye. been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve the 2020-2021 Board Committees as submitted. Is there any discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. I move that the Board of Education take no further disciplinary action related to student number 810421 at this time. Second. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education take no further disciplinary action related to student number 810421 at this time. Is there any discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. All right, thank you. And now that takes us to nominations and election of officers. And we will now have, do we turn it over to you for any of this? Nope, we get to keep it just this. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, it's okay. always different every year, yeah. so. Yeah. <laughs> well, I would like to nominate Tammy Ryan as board president. Thank you very much. I'll second that. Second. Okay. Are there any other is, nominations? There any other, is there any, any other nominations? Since there is only one nomination, I move that the Board of Education close the nominations and cast unanimous ballot of Tammy Ryan as board president. Second. All those in favor? Signify say. Do I say that? Yeah, you might as well. Do I say it? Do you I do say, say it. Okay. Yeah. I moved at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> he kept going like he was knows yeah, yeah, what yeah, he yeah. was doing. Seems like a conflict of interest. Yes, he does. kind of did. We're not changing well, our mind. He, he's kind of going on. You're still the president until okay. it's until well, we vote. Thank you very much. I move that the Board of Education uh, close the nominations and cast a unanimous ballot of Tammy Ryan as president. And I need a second. Okay, oh, he's already got the motion and the second, so you just need to. I just call the vote. You just need the vote. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries, and thank you very much for your vote of, vote of confidence. confidence yes. yes, I appreciate that very much. Can I have the oath? Yep. Oh, now yes. you do the oath. Now yep. it's official. All right, okay. Do you solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Iowa, and that you will faithfully and impartially, to the best of your ability, discharge the duties of the Office of President in the Dubuque Community School District of Dubuque and Jackson Counties, Iowa, as now or hereafter required by law? I will. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations, Tammy. I appreciate it. All right, and now we will move on to board vice president. I would like to nominate Jim Perhaska as vice president of the board. Okay, we have a nomination. Okay, we have a nomination and a second. Are there any other nominations? Okay, there being none. I move that the Board of Education close the nominations and cast a unanimous ballot of Jim Prohaska as vice president. All those in favor, sig or do I need a second? Okay, second. I nominated. Second. 
Second. Right. All those in favor, <laughs> signify by saying oh, aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. Congratulations, Jim. Congratulations. Thank you. It's very confusing on how to do all these little steps here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and now I get to administer the oh, no. oath of okay, office great. to you. Do you solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Iowa, and that you will faithfully and impartially, to the best of your ability, discharge the duties of the office of Vice President in the Dubuque Community School District of Dubuque and Jackson Counties, Iowa, as now or hereafter required by law? I will. Congratulations. Thank you very much. You're a good partner in crime. Yes. I move that the Board of Education appoint Johnny Lucas as secretary. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education appoint Joni Lucas as secretary. Is there any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. I wanted to get my eye in there fast because we could yep. not do this without you. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Do you solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Iowa and that you will faithfully and impartially, to the best of your ability, discharge the duties of the Office of Secretary in the Dubuque Community School District of Dubuque and Jackson Counties as now or hereafter required by law? I will. Thank you. And thank you, thank you. Thank you. Joni, thank you so thank you very much, much for us. Thank you, Joni. That it can't even begin nope. to list everything for us and for the entire district. Exactly. So. That's right. And our next dutifully filled yeah, office got, that we need. Yeah, we got one more nominee. I will move the Board of Education appoint Kevin Kelleher as our treasurer. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education appoint Kevin Kelleher as treasurer. Is there any discussion? Another person that we couldn't do without. That's right. 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 All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. And Mr. Kelleher. Do you solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Iowa, and that you will faithfully and impartially, to the best of your ability, discharge the duties of the Office of Treasurer in the Dubuque Community School District of Dubuque and Jackson Counties as here as now or hereby hereafter required by law? I will. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate what you do as well, making sure that we can keep going. Year after year. Yep, in the right direction. All There's right. There's no count on that vote. <laughs> yeah, we just go straight <laughs> with that. Okay. Depends on what state you're in. Okay. Do we have any uh, board member or administrative issues? Not tonight. Not tonight. Not tonight. All right. I, I would, I would like to wish a happy birthday to board colleague Jim Prohaska. Yes. Thank you. Today is his birthday. Happy birthday, Thank Jim. Yes, Thank you. Happy birthday. I can go bananas. <laughs> <laughs> you do that. All right. If there is nothing else, we are adjourned.